Hey, Brandon, good afternoon, man. I have a couple of questions for you, if you don't mind. Just first, you know, when we talked to you when you first got drafted, one of the things that really stood out about your game was your preparation going into it, how it allowed you to play fast. I'm just wondering now that you're kind of getting more playing time, more production, how you feel you've grown in terms of seeing things and reacting more than having to kind of sit back and wait and, and let it play out before you can make that reactionary play. Yeah, I would say my overall mindset has kind of stayed the same and obviously kind of enhanced in a way. Um, I'm big, really big on routine, so I like to stick to the same stuff that works for me. And a big thing that works for me is meeting with my coach um, every morning before practice and just kind of get an idea of the game plan and just overall knowing uh, the defensive scheme. And I think with those, with those meetings, I'm not able to only know my position but get to know a lot of the other positions. And I think that's what has kind of helped me slow the game down and be able to play fast. And then my follow-up to, to that would be, you know, you had the two big sacks yesterday. What is it about kind of playing forward or those pressure packages that really suits what you do well? Like, how do you think that really brings out the best in your game to get two big sacks in a game like that? Um, you know, it's all scheme-based. I wouldn't necessarily give myself all the credit for that. The D-line did a great job of, uh, you know, stunt, stunt games and all the stuff that we did inside to kind of free me up. But, um, yeah, my mindset is just to, to play fast, you know, trust my keys, um, continue uh, with the process, and, and kind of go from there. But, obviously, yeah, I, those were good plays. But, you know, the bad plays and, and the plays that I should have made, uh, especially in the, at the end of the game, is the stuff that sticks to me more than necessarily the good plays. Omar? I want to ask you that this uh, we talked to Eric Rowe and, and McCordy last week, and they talked about um, the challenges of basically being a assignment based safety unit. Um, what, what's it like to kind of have roles and everybody do their roles and be subbed in and out of the game the way that you guys have so far? Uh, I think it's just. Overall, it's, it's just a scheme that we do, you know, each week. Obviously, it can easily change with people in different positions and stuff like that. Um, I would say just the biggest thing, it obviously gives you a better idea and an overall kind of builds your IQ of knowing multiple different positions. And I think that really benefits you in your game to be able to do multiple things. Um, but for me, I think it's just – I get so stuck on, you know, learning new stuff and, and this and that. And then I kind of let the, the old stuff, the stuff that I should know, especially playing strong safety, I kind of let that stuff fall off the plate in tough situations. Obviously, you see it kind of showed up yesterday um, with that with that catch to Edwards, you know. Um, but, yeah, it just I understand the scheme. It's, it's kind of what we do and it makes us different um, from a lot of different teams. But kind of like our coach always preaches at the end of the day, you just can't let any of the food fall off the plate, no matter how many different roles you have, you just have to be able to execute at all times. Travis. Yeah, Brandon, I wanted to follow up and ask you about that, that play to, to Edwards there at the end. I mean, to me, you can tell me if I'm wrong. It looks like one of those perfect pass situations where it's just, there's not really much you can do about it. Is that the case on that kind of throw? Like are there passes in the NFL that you just can't do anything about? There definitely is. I mean, obviously they get paid just like we get paid at the end of the day. But uh, I feel like I was in position, so I could have made the play. That's kind of my mindset of my, my mindset of it. Um, not really too big on excuses. At the end of the day, I didn't make a play, and he did. And that's kind of something that I gotta live with and and learn from. And you know, if we get in similar situations down the line, just kind of be able to hopefully fix that and have a different outcome. Thank you, Brandon. Omar? Just wanted to follow up on the uh, can't let any food fall off the plate. First time I've heard that. Um, is, is that just about, you know, the constant installation and, and not forgetting about what you did week three, even though you're in week six? It, it, what, 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 what is that about? Yeah, it goes in from play calls from, you know, your job description and cover three as a curl flat player, a hook dropper. Um, just how versatile we are and how much we change it. We could easily, you know, run some stuff like we did. We ran some stuff early in training camp and then stop running it for a little bit and then bring it back in, in whatever week. So we, you know, the weeks are kind of short, so you don't always have the time to re reteach something and start from the beginning. So even though we don't run everything all at once, you just kind of have to 
like I said, like our coach says, not let anything fall off the plate. And even though we're not getting the practice reps in it, you know, sometimes you got to be mentally prepared and just always ready. If I could follow that up, you guys, you know, there's so much talk about execution from the first three games. What 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 is falling flat in terms of the play call to the execution? I think it just all comes down to preparation and how we attack it. Obviously, you know, Coach Boyer does a great job of putting us in very good situations um, when it comes to play call and stuff like that. We just got to do a better job executing. I mean, at the end of the day, it's it's 11 on 11 and the guys that play better, play harder are the ones that are going to win the play. So we just got to kind of dial in and, and take it play, play by play and just learn fast. I think we just can't let the negative plays kind of haunt us and stay with us that long and, you know, get things corrected when we can.